Darcy from Boy Mom Crochet Life here with a quick tutorial on how to do the kind of wonky decreases on round 25 of the Sleepy Time Truck pattern. Um, it was my first written pattern, so things came out kind of funny, but they work as long as you know how to do them. So hopefully after this, you will know how to do it. The first part of the questionable or the confusing instructions is a single crochet in the gray color or contrasting color one. So you do that like normal and actually you don't yarn over because you're going to change colors to this main color. In my case it was blue. And you switch colors. Now you're going to begin your decrease and it's going to begin in the same stitch that you just did the single crochet in the gray. So pick up the first loop there and then the second stitch of the decrease is going to go into this next stitch. You're going to decrease those two together. And we're going to switch back to the gray for the next stitch. So instead of yarning over with the blue, we'll yarn over with the gray. Oops, I'm not caught on that. There we go. And then the very next stitch is going to go into the same stitch that you just decreased together. So what you're ending up doing is not really decreasing right here. You actually end up increasing it a stitch, which is what we're trying to do because we're trying to keep it from turning so much on the side. So that's what it should look like if you do it correctly, or if you know how to do it correctly, I should say. Um, so just to show again, you would do your one gray, switch to your main color, in my case is blue, begin your decrease in that same stitch that you just did the gray in, finishing your decrease into the next stitch, switch back to the gray, yarn over, finish that. And then your next stitch is in the same stitch you just finished your decrease in. And you continue as such. If you have any other questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for working this pattern.